I watched them as they glided two as one around the floor. In a two-step they had danced, I'm sure, a thousand times before. Her yellow cotton dress floated like a carousel. Like skaters on a frozen pond, they moved around so well. With every song the band played, they were out there going round. Their silver hair was gleaming as the mirror ball shone down. I watched them in amazement, they never missed a beat. It seemed the story of their love was written in their feet. When the music stopped, I walked up to the table where they sat. Said, if you don't mind me asking, where'd you learn to dance like that? Well, they smile at one another, and the old man turned to me. It's really very simple, son, I follow where she leads. Cause it's a two-step life, perfect harmony. The first step, I love her, and the second, she loves me. When we move around the floor, we hold each other tight. Oh, cause love is all that matters in a two-step life. And as the night wore on, they hardly ever left the floor. You could see they treasured every dance in the smiles they wore. And I often think about them when my world is closing in. Oh, him in love with her and her in love with him. Cause it's a two-step life, perfect harmony. The first step, I love her. And the second, she loves me. And when we move around the floor, we hold each other tight. Cause love is all that matters in a two-step life. Yes, it's a two-step life. Perfect harmony. First step, I love her. And the second, she loves me. And when we move around the floor, we hold each other tight. Cause love is all that matters in a two-step life. Yes, love is all that matters in a two-step life. Two-step life. Yeah. I never learned how to dance myself. I can remember when I went back to Ireland in uh, the early 70s, after high school, one of the biggest shocks, uh, cult cultural shocks, uh, in a nice cultural shock, was uh, the first time I went out uh, to a dance uh, and I, I went there in September, and in that se uh, time of the year, I guess it kind of the harvest time, they have what are called carnivals. They used to have them. In Ireland, they had a big thing called show bands. Uh, it was just a big phenomenon in the, in the 70s, all through the 70s, maybe late 60s. Basically, it was, you know, um, uh, five to ten piece uh, groups that all dressed in the same outfit and had all the moves and the whole bit, and they were just all over the country. And... Uh, I ended up being in one uh, a country pop kind of band, but uh, so. But when I went there first, um, my cousin took me out to one of these country. They call them carnivals, uh, and it'd be a huge tent, and it might there might be a thousand people in that tent. It was like plywood on top of pallets out in the middle of a f farmer's field, and uh, the band would be up on a plywood stage. And but um, the most amazing thing was the jiving. You to see literally hundreds of people jiving 
at 90 miles an hour. I'm talking like like you'd want to have your OHIP card <laughs> because it was just like, and just to be able to, it was just astounding. It was kind of like a dead, it's interesting that, uh, you know, it's the way that, uh, how, how, we're, uh, there was some other cultural situation that were, where the, uh, you know, a particular cult uh, cultural thing lives on in another in another part of the world but has already passed through like by by that time by the 70s you wouldn't see too much jiving going on in the u.s but uh, i'm sure a lot of it came out of the u.s um kind of country jiving and um uh, but it was just it was a it was a spectacle and it, and I, I can't and i still i do gigs uh, uh in the irish community in toronto and uh uh, quite often it's a situation where there's a little bit of a dance floor in front of me and there are couples that get up there and whether they're in their 70s or their 80s or their 50s and they they just jive like crazy and what's <laughs> what's amazing is they can jive in a in a like a two foot square space <laughs> they just oh I love it anyways that's my memory of a picture I gotta write a song about the Irish drivers yeah okay so so if anybody has any requests, I don't know if anybody sent anything in or not, but um, let me do another, um, what should I do here? Maybe I'll do my other, I think, that, what have I done here? One, I think, I, yeah, so I, I've written four songs recently, and this is the this is the most recent one I've written. And uh, this came about, um, the idea for it came about, um, once again, from the Bit of the Bay website where I played, uh, I played my song, uh, the one I did a few songs earlier there. That's how we, is there somebody? Okay, it's the police. I think we were too loud. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Sure, I'll just uh, grab that. Okay, oh, thank you. Oh, that's so, hello, Lori. Lori Robinson's watching, that's wonderful. Uh, Sarah, hello, Sarah. As requested, Fields of Athen Rye. Well, maybe I'll try that. That's uh, Fields of Athen Rye for those uh, people that may, might not know is a very, uh, very famous Irish song, more recent vintage, maybe the last 30, 30 years or so. Like it's not a traditional, but it's become a traditional Irish song. Beautiful song called "The Fields of Athen Rye," and uh, you know, and it's interesting about that 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 song that uh, when I went to Ireland and went back a few times, uh, one of the times I was back, I drove by the Fields of Athen Rye and. One of the wonderful things uh, about about Irish uh, song, I don't know about other cultures, but uh, you know they can, they write a song about a, a seemingly um, how would you describe it like nondescript place, and they turn it into a, a legendary song. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I mean, I, and I feel that when I'm writing my uh, my little songs about uh, about North Bay, that uh, you know to write a song about Sheeny Creek, you know, which is the little Little river, they call it a creek, but it's more of a river, uh, Dushaney Creek uh, at the west end of North Bay, and uh, so a lot of my songs are written about life around there, and uh, uh, or have allusions to that when we lived at uh, at Dushaney Creek, and uh, but the fields of Athen Rye, I was I always think of that, and it's such an incredible song, and if you drove by it, you'd think, well, it's just a little field, you know, it's just, but this man was inspired to write a great song. Maybe I'll, why don't I do that one right now, actually, since I'm in the mood. By lonely harbor walls I heard a young girl calling Michael, they have taken you away For you stole Trevelyan's corn So the young might see the morn Now the prison ship lies waiting in the bay Low lie the fields of Athen Rye where once we'd watch the small free birds fly Well our love was on the wing We had dreams and songs to sing But it's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rye By lonely prison walls 
I heard a young man calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free Against the famine and the crown I rebel, they cut me down you must raise our child with dignity. Lord, I the fears of that and right, where once we'd watch the small free birds fly. Well, our love was on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rhine. By lonely harbor walls, she watched the last star falling. As the prison ship sailed out against the sky now she lives and hopes and prays for her love in botany bay but it's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rhine Lord I the fields of Athen Rhine where once we'd watch the small free birds fly well our love was on the wing we had dreams and songs to sing but it's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rhine yes our love was on the wing we had dreams and songs to sing but it's so lonely round the fields and right. It's so lonely round the fields of Athen Rye. There you go. That goes out to Sarah. Thanks for asking for that one. Beautiful song. So let me think of what I'll do here. Um, well, let me do this one here. Like I said, this is one that I wrote uh, recently and uh, was inspired by um, a woman uh, commenting on one of my songs uh, on the bit of the Bay site. And um, she, uh, she mentioned that um, when she heard the song, she said, I can smell the poplar trees and the lake. She could smell the poplar trees and the lake. And uh, I, uh, I thought, oh, my God, I, I, can, I can totally relate to that one. Um, okay, okay, and the winner is, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> look at the middle, uh, and uh, she said I could see, yeah, I could smell the poplar trees in the lake, and um, where we grew up in North Bay was uh, right across the, uh, across the road from the lake, uh, Lake Nipissing, and uh, so you could walk out the end of our driveway and across, and uh, now you're a bit up, uh, there's a bit of a ridge there along the lake, and uh, uh, you could stand, but I used to go out there, uh, like on, uh, especially on stormy, uh, stormy days, windy days, and uh, you could just stand uh, in the middle of a little grove of trees and uh, look out across the lake, and you know the r the waves would be rough, and uh, and then of course the sound of the wind going through the trees. I just, uh, oh boy, I just love it. Uh, I, I used to love it as a as a, a place to go, especially when I was, you know, whatever fretting over something or upset about something I could go stand in the middle of those trees and uh, you know and feel better and you know now it just reminds me of that uh, you know phenomena that I heard about a few years ago in Japan where they you go and do um, they call it forest bathing it's an actual thing that's they've given it a name and basically it means go for a walk in the forest because um, I just I just finished reading an incredible book, and not to get off topic here, but it's called The Overstory. Uh, just a fantastic book, and everything about it, or every it's it's a it's a it's a book with a story to it. I mean, there are characters, there's uh, you know different people, um, and uh, but the connection of all the people is um, are trees, 
there's a tree in their life somewhere, a tree that's meant a lot. Or, and, uh, but the book is just full of information about trees and about uh, you know, the incredible life of trees and, uh, and what they're doing for us. You know? I don't know if you can see over here, but you can see the, maybe the cameraman will pan here and see this fantastic uh, um, base of a, I don't know, I'm not even sure what kind of tree that is, but it's, this has got to be a 100-year-old tree. It's a maple. It's gigantic. But anyways, it's just about the, you know, the stories the trees can tell, you know, that uh, while, ever, while, we're rus you know, while we're all rushing around and doing whatever we're doing and, you know, causing troubles a lot of the time, <laughs> the tree just stands there and it just, it just does its thing and it grows and the roots grow and, the, you know, the whole life cycle goes on over and over and over again. And anyways, where am I going? Anyways. So anyways, this is a song that has uh, mentioned some trees in it. There you go, I've made the connection. <laughs> this is called Perfect Northern Day. Standing on the shore of a lake Where the poplar of trees shimmer and shake In a western breeze that can almost take my breath away White-capped waves near the summer sky A cloud parade rolling by I can almost say it's as if I died and went to heaven All the troubles of the world don't mean a thing When I stand within this sacred place just to feel the breeze and hear the cedar wax wings sing here within this perfect northern day looking towards the western shore the distant sound of a thunder roar the skies going dark not long before the storm moves in the air, it feels electrified I feel a stillness deep inside My heart is full and satisfied in this moment All the troubles of the world don't mean a thing When I stand within this sacred place just to feel the breeze and hear the red-winged blackbird sing Here within this perfect northern day Looking at the beach below Where summers swoon and winters blow I can feel the childhood memories flow all around me A melancholy sense of time A longing for what's left behind A drop of rain returns my mind to the present All the troubles of the world don't mean a thing when I stand within this sacred place Just to feel the breeze and hear the cedar wax wings sing Here within this perfect northern day All the troubles of the world don't mean a thing When I stand within this sacred place just to feel the breeze and hear the red-winged blackbirds sing here within this perfect northern day here within this perfect northern Thank you so much for uh, 
for those of you that have come out, thank you so much for uh, being part of this first time thing for me. Um, hopefully, maybe I can do something in the future, maybe some different themes and whatever. If not, I'll be still posting stuff to Facebook every now and then. <laughs> thank you for all the people that comment when I do that. It's uh, very, very encouraging. Thank you. got a brother-in-law, his name is John. Guess you could say he's a man of few words. He likes to listen to us go on and on, talking about all the problems of the world. And when we've rambled along for a while, he'll lift his head up and say with a smile, in a hundred years, what will it matter? In a hundred years, we'll all be gone. We can live our lives for worse or for better. But we'll be lucky to be a memory in somebody's history in a hundred years. Sometimes when I'm out traveling on the road, and I pass by a place of last repose I get to think of the souls lying there Lots of souls that nobody even knows and I get to wonder if it ever crossed their mind An old weathered stone would be all they'd leave behind Cause in a hundred years What will it matter? hundred years, we'll all be gone. We can live our lives for worse or for better. We'll be lucky to be a memory in somebody's history in a hundred years. It's such a bad thing If we learn how to live every day Like it matters right here and right now And we don't let our time slip away Do unto others as you have them do to you Follow your heart into your own self be true in a hundred years what will it matter in a hundred years we'll all be gone we can live our lives for worse or for better but right or wrong short or long we'll all be gone in a hundred years what will it matter in a hundred years we'll all be gone we can live our lives for worse or for better. We'll be lucky to be a memory in somebody's history in a hundred.